For today's video, let us talk about what is Fibonacci sequence. So when we say Fibonacci sequence, it is defined by the recursive formula f sub n equals to f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1, where f sub 1 and f sub 2 is equal to 1. And when we say recursive formula, it is an expression used to determine the n term of the sequence using the term that precedes it. So those are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is Fibonacci sequence. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, given the recursive formula for the Fibonacci sequence f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1, we are going to find the following. On letter A, let us find the value of f sub 3. So let us write the recursive formula f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1. So let us have f sub 3 equals f sub 3 minus 2 plus f sub 3 minus 1. It will give us f sub 1 plus f sub 2. Since the value of f sub 1, that is 1, together with f sub 2, so the value of f sub 3 that is 1 plus 1 and that is 2 and this will be our answer on letter b we are going to find the value of f sub 4 so let us have f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1 so let us have f sub 4 equals f sub 4 minus 2 plus f sub 4 minus 1 so let us have f sub 2, and that is 4 minus 2. That's why we are going to have f sub 2 plus f sub 3, and that is 4 minus 1. Since the value of f sub 2, that is 1, and the value of f sub 3, that is 2, therefore, the value of f sub 4, that is 1 plus 2, and that is 3. And this will be our answer. On letter C, we are going to find the value of f sub 5. So let us have the recursive formula f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1. This will be f sub 5 equals f sub 5 minus 2 plus f sub 5 minus 1. 5 minus 2, that is 3. So we are going to have f sub 3 plus f sub Four, and that is 5 minus 1. The value of f sub 3, that is 2. And the value of f sub 4, that is 3. Therefore, the value of f sub 5, that is 2 plus 3, and that is 5. On letter D, we have f sub 6. So let us write the recursive formula. So this will be f sub 6 equals f sub 6 minus 2 plus f sub 6 minus 1. 6 minus 2, that is 4. So this will be f sub 4 plus f sub 5, that is 6 minus 1. The value of f sub 4, that is 3. And the value of f sub 5 is 5. And the value of f sub 6, that is 3 plus 5, and that is 8. And this will be our answer. If you are going to write the sequence, this will be 2, 3, 5, and 8. And if you are going to find the next three terms, all you have to do is to observe the given pattern. Since the third term is 5, it's obtained by adding the first term and second term, that is 2, plus 3, and that is 5. And the fourth term is 8, it's obtained by adding the second term and the third term, that is 3, plus 5, and that is Eight. And to find the next term, simply add the third term and the fourth term, that is 5 plus 8, is 13. So this will be 13. And then 8 plus 13, that is 21. And then 13 plus 21, that is 34. So the next three terms in the given sequence are 13, 21, and 34. And that is for example number one. On example number two, we are going to find the tenth term of the sequence 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, 
2947. Example number 2 is a Luca sequence. And to find the 10th term, let us have the given. That is 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, 29, 47. So as you can see, the third term is obtained by adding the first term and second term, that is 1 plus 3, and that is 4. The fourth term is obtained by adding the second term and that third term, that is 3 plus 4, and that is 7. And the fifth term is obtained by adding the third term and fourth term, that is 4 plus 7, is 11. And to find the sixth term, simply add 7 plus 11, that is 18. And then 11 plus 18 is 29 and 18 plus 29 that is 47 and to find the ninth term simply add 29 plus 47 and that is 76 and to find the tenth term let us have 47 plus 76 that is 123 so therefore the tenth term in the given sequence is 123 and this will be our answer on example number three Find the next three terms of the sequence 3, 7, 12, 18. So to find the next three terms, let us identify first our given. And that is 3, 7, 12, 18. So as you can see in the given pattern, there is no common difference in our sequence. But the difference is increasing by 1 for each term. So we are going to have 7 minus 3, and that is 4, 12, minus 7, that is 5, 18 minus 12, that is 6. So therefore, the next difference will be 7. And to find the next term, let us have 18 plus 7, that is 25. And the next difference will be 8, that is 25 plus 8, that is 33. And the next difference will be 9. So 33 plus 9, that is 42. So therefore, the next three terms in the given sequence are 25, 33, and 42. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we are going to find the ninth term of the sequence 3, 6, 18, 72. So let us identify first our given. So let us have 3, 6, 18, 72. If you are going to observe the given pattern, the consecutive terms are being multiplied respectively by the consecutive integers. As you can see, the second term that is 6, it's obtained by multiplying 2 on the first term, that is 3 times 2, that is 6. The third term is 18, it's obtained by multiplying 3 on the second term, that is 3 times 6, that is 18. And the fourth term, that is 72, it's obtained by multiplying 4 on the third term, that is 18 times 4 is 72. And to find the next term, we are going to multiply 5 on the fourth term, that is 72 times 5, and that is 360. And then, let us have 360 multiplied by 6, and we are going to have... 2,160. And the next number that we are going to multiply to the last term is 7. So this will be 2,160 multiplied by 7. That is 15,120. And the next number that we are going to multiply to the last term, that is 8. So this will be 15,120 multiplied by 8. That is... 120,960. And to find the last term or the ninth term, let us multiply 9 by 120,960. It will give us 1,088,640. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we are going to find the seventh term and the sum of the seven terms of the sequence x plus y, 2x minus 3y, 3x minus 2y, and 5x minus 5y. 
if you are going to observe the given pattern, one term is the sum of the preceding two terms. So as you can see, the third term is 3x minus 2y. It's obtained by adding first term and second term. That is x plus 2y is 3x. y plus negative 3y is negative 2y. The fourth term is 5x minus 5y. It's obtained by adding the second term and the third term. That is 2x plus 3x is 5x. Negative 3y plus negative 2y is negative 5y. And to find the fifth term, let us have 3x plus 5x, that is 8x. Negative 2y plus negative 5y is negative 7y. And to find the sixth term, let us have 5x plus 8x, and that is 13x. Negative 5y plus negative 7y is negative 12y. And to find the seventh term, let us have 8x plus 13x, that is 21x. Negative 7y plus negative 12y, that is negative 19y. So this will be our seventh term term. And to find the sum of the seven terms in the given sequence, let us write our given vertically. This will be x plus y, 2x minus 3y, 3x minus 2y, 5x minus 5y, 8x minus 7y, 13x minus 12y, 21x minus 19y. So let us add this one. This will be the sum. y plus negative 3y is negative 2y. Negative 2y plus negative 2y is negative 4y. Negative 4y plus negative 5y is negative 9y. Negative 9y plus negative 7y is negative 16y. Negative 16y plus negative 12y is negative 28y. And negative 28y plus negative 19y is negative 47y. And for the x variable, this will be x plus 2x is 3x. 3x plus 3x is 6x. And 6x plus 5x is 11x. 11x plus 9, uh, plus 8x is 19x, and 19x plus 13x, that is 32x, and 32x plus 21x is 53x. So this will be the sum of the seven terms in the given sequence. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.